hello everyone welcome back to our channel after a long time we are going to see about a very important topic that is research methodology and intellectual property rights yes this is a subject for the fifth semester and a vtu syllabus so we'll be seeing about and seeing and discussing about various questions under different modules and the crispy answers that would help you to develop the complete answer for a particular 10 mark question yes excited come let's go into the video so this is your subject code 21 rmi 56 research methodology and intellectual property rights so in this series of video i'm going to deal with module one and the question bank will have the sets of questions that is dealing with the module one that is research methodology the set one is available in this video so yes first question explain the meaning of research with an example so we all know what is research but to put in and coin the words in the correct form is a big challenge so now just remember research is nothing but it is a well-defined set of theory so you remember that it is a well-defined set you can add careful well-defined objective systematic method so research is nothing but searching something repeatedly so a systematic method of searching something what you search you search for a knowledge you search for a theory you formulate a theory you study something and formulate a theory so after formulating and searching about the knowledge you will come to know what is the real contribution of all the concepts so you will know the real contribution and also you will be knowing about the existing knowledge what are all the existing methodologies available existing technologies available so research in a simple way you can tell that it is a systematic or a well-defined way of search to understand something to gain knowledge to formulate a theory why you have to gain knowledge and formulate theory obviously to know about the existing knowledge you know about the original contribution of somebody yes so that is one point and the other point important point that you have to remember is the research will involve some set of a series of steps which you want to completely go through to arrive at the results so those are nothing but formulation of hypothesis or problem solving strategies so first you have to formulate what is the real problem statement we are going to see or we are going to search on that is formulation of hypothesis and you all you, you have to give us strategies for solving that particular problem for that you have to analyze the data and then you have to reason question why it is happening what it is happening so reasoning and the complete results af after you do all these strategies you will get the result for the first particular hypothesis so the research uh, when somebody asks you the meaning of research you can start with it is a systematic method for the search of knowledge formulation of theory and also you can tell the different steps involved and the steps can be detailed explained with an example so with an exa example you can tell you can take a particular topic and you can tell how data collection is done data analysis and done how inference can be done how the conclusion is formulated with the data collection and analysis that can be explained yes moving to the next question analysis analyze the flow of research and explain with example so analyze the flow of research you can put it in a form of diagram so here you can see four steps practical problem so when you take a problem it is motivating you to research something so research question so your research question defines a particular project particular problem statement that will lead you to a result so that result helps in solving the practical problem so this is a loop that is happening those so this is the complete flow of research so you can tell how a problem practical problem can be solved how a research question can be framed what actually the practical problem is motivating so in a stepwise manner you can write it out in a detailed format with the with this diagram so moving to the next question examine the clear objectives needed for the research studies yes so you do research only for some objective to achieve an objective 
we work in a particular company to earn money to earn knowledge yes so likewise you do research studies to get a objective so what is it, uh, to get something so what is the real objectives so you do research studies to solve new and important problems to learn about the problem to learn how to solve the particular problem to learn how to derive a conclusion out of the problem yes one one point the second point is the objectives the main objective of engineering research is to develop some new knowledge new theoretical or applied knowledge there is no limit in developing the knowledge so the objective of research study is to develop new theories formulate new theories come with new technologies yes so the third point is this objective can be framed in a particular way where you will get the desired result that is when you know to solve a problem to know the strategies obviously you will end up with your desired result understanding what has happened what can be contributed what is the what 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 can a research do in solving the problem understanding all this desired result can be derived so these are the three clear objectives for a research studies so moving on to the next question determine the types of engineering research with suitable real time examples so there are three types of engineering research that is descriptive versus analytical applied versus fundamental quantitative versus qualitative so what is descriptive descriptive research is nothing but you are correlating you are finding the facts you are descri describing something that is nothing but descriptive engineering research so it is including a correlation method fact finding inquiries such kind of research is called as descriptive research analytical research so analytical research is based on the available facts you are analyzing the data evaluating the data so descriptive means for example i can tell um, a student doing a project compares and correlates the already available technology finds the facts and derive to a particular conclusion yes that kind of research is nothing but descriptive research analytical is nothing but the faculty or the jury members who are listening the project what they do is they analyze the fact they have used in evaluate whether the particular student is satisfying all the parameters such kind of research is nothing but analytical research applied versus fundamental so applied versus fundamental applied research is nothing but you are going to solve an problem that is happening in an organization or that is happening when you are doing a real time project so when you seek to solve an immediate problem then it is applied research when it is a fundamental research then you are going to see the fundamental theory that is framed from fundamental things you have to learn to derive a particular technology to create a new technology so you are going to formulate and generalize different theories that is fundamental research moving to the third point quantitative versus qualitative quantitative is nothing but you are going to observe with a statistical observation you are going to get large number of data as facts and going to take statistical analysis to determine the quantitative research qualitative is nothing but it is based on the behavioral studies like whether uh, whether a particular engineering stream will really suit for a particular person you you qualify yourself right so such kind of behavioral studies comes under qualitative research so these are the three types of engineering research available so you can quote it with some real time examples which comes for 10 marks so moving to the next question illustrate with example the different categories of knowledge in research studies so you have three things one is model observation and there are some process available so you have different categories of knowledge so generally you must know that the good research is nothing but it is a systematic way of collecting data as analyzing the data so for that you have to perform all these so when it is a process you have to take up algorithm procedures arrangements reference design so you have to 
you have to plan the algorithm what kind of algorithm what kind of procedures can be used and for observation when a particular problem statement is given you have to observe what can be done what kind of process can be applied to solve the particular problem statement and these are the models you can represent in in form of equations pictures graphs map that is best understood uh, understandable to a particular person so investigation how do you plan how do you design how execution is done how this technology investigated and developed all those are the different categories of the knowledge in research studies so moving on to the next question interpret the steps to solve the research problem in detail so you are going to know the steps that will solve a research problem now you have learned that research is a systematic method that is going to analyze the data collect the data Uh, put on to the strategies now how you will solve the research problem yes you have four main steps one is first you have to understand the problem before moving into the solution you have to understand you should you have to visualize your problem how 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 it can be taken in the real world in form of diagrams or in form of some representation one can understand that is the first step next step is you have to systematically explore the strategies that can be applied to the problem whether an algorithm can be applied whether an equation can solve a problem or whether a real time implementation can solve a problem possible strategies you will search that is the second point and third point comes that you will execute that particular strategy which will work you will execute the plan and see which will work which will not work trial and error method so you will be dwelling completely into the problem when you do trial and error method yes so that is your third point and the fourth point is whatever you have understood and whatever strategy is applied that become an investment for your future that is it will reflect your desired result so you will be reflecting with what you have understood what strategy you have used and how it is an investment for the future so this is your interpretation that is the steps to solve the research problem these are the four steps yes hope you have understood and seems to be seems eager to know about the next set of question banks that i have i will be discussing about please be stay tuned for more information thank you